Hello, I'm Michael Curry, presiding bishop of the Episcopal Church. It is a real privilege to invite you to join me and to join those of Forward Movement and many others throughout the Episcopal Church in reading, studying, and listening to the words, the message, and the wisdom that comes through the gospel according to St. Mark. Mark's gospel happens to be the gospel that we will be reading during this year on Sundays. And the Good Book Club provides an opportunity for us to study that very gospel. But it also gives us an opportunity to do it in a very difficult time. In this time of COVID-19 pandemic, during the season of Epiphany, which is basically January and February, which may well be the most difficult times of this pandemic for us all. And it may well be that this is exactly what we need for the living of these days. Mark's gospel is a remarkable one. Many years ago when I was a young priest, I was asked to prepare some young men who had grown up in mainland China to introduce them to the Christian faith and to prepare them for baptism and confirmation. And they had not known the full story of Jesus of Nazareth. They knew of him because of their mother's faith. But because of circumstances, they had been separated from their mother and she from them. And then they were able to be reunited here in the United States. And so I began to do something I had never done before, to introduce someone to the story the teachings and the spirit of Jesus who had never heard the story before. And it was the gospel of Mark that provided that introduction that helped them to see the wonders of this Jesus and his way of love, his way of compassion, his way of life. This year, I invite you to join us, to join the Good Book Club, to read and study and listen to God's word of love and grace through the gospel of Mark. So I would invite you to do so with a prayer found in the Book of Common Prayer composed by Thomas Cranmer, Archbishop of Canterbury, many, many centuries ago. Blessed Lord, who caused all holy scriptures to be written for our learning, grant us so to hear them read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest them, that we may embrace and ever hold fast the blessed hope of everlasting life, which you have given us in our Savior, Jesus Christ. God love you. God bless you. May God hold us all in those almighty hands of love.